Welcome to the Learning Site, the central hub for teachers and students that bridges content, pedagogy, technology, and training to create a comprehensive and equitable digital learning environment. Here at Wayside, we believe in empowering the next generation of global learners, transforming language learning, and ensuring that online learning experiences are active and meaningful with all the necessary tools for students to show what they can do with languages. All activities are aligned to our goals, designed with the end in mind using backward design, and connected to essential questions that are based on real-life, culturally relevant tasks. By providing the pathway to innovative digital resources, the learning site allows for continuous teaching, gives students voice and choice, helps set clear objectives and learning goals, and engages students in real-world learning experiences. As students interact to build a global community, they are empowered to showcase what they can do with the language, self-assess their progress, and set goals on their path to proficiency. Interculturality is at the heart of our student-focused and scaffolded curriculum. Supporting students as they investigate the world beyond their familiar environment, seek to understand others' ways of thinking, and interact in a cultural context other than their own. Whether interpreting a message from one of our video bloggers in the unit's cultural opener, communicating with others about the target culture in the classroom forum, or reflecting on their own learning using our integrated portfolio, students are gaining new perspectives that are gleaned from engaging with authentic language and interacting in culturally appropriate ways. I invite you now to join me for an in-depth look at the learning site and how our student-centered digital platform supports proficiency-driven, performance-based, and standards-aligned teaching practices. After logging into the learning site, you will arrive on your dashboard. Let's take a look around. Your Explorer class contains the audio, video, and online activities and resources that go along with each textbook. The Explorer class is also where you can monitor your grades, assignments, and students, access the FlexText, and adjust class settings. Your FlexText is the page-by-page -page digital version of the textbook. Teachers can choose between the student edition or the teacher edition. The Flex Text is available through your Explorer class or the Flex Text library link on your dashboard. The portfolio, an integral part of an Explorer class, allows students to self assess their progress and demonstrate understanding. Teachers are able to provide feedback online about each student's self-assessment and choice of evidence. To learn more about the portfolio, check out the Learning Site Language Portfolio Guide. Wayside's Instructional Strategies Toolkit, accessed through the Learning Tools menu, provides a variety of instructional approaches that can be filtered by mode, skill, proficiency level, activity type, and more. Whether you are a new teacher or want to find new strategies, the toolkit provides built-in world language methodology and pedagogy training at any time. Use the What's New link to learn more about recent enhancements to the learning site. Teachers and students can use the notification bell to view Explorer class activity. If you need to adjust your account information, click on your name in the upper right corner. By simply clicking on the Help menu, teachers and students can access our video tutorials, FAQs, Support Center, and contact information. The Help menu is also where you will find our automated chat and feedback button. Now that we have toured the dashboard, let's check out what's inside your Explorer class. The Content tab contains the instructional materials and resources for each unit, along with teacher resources, rubrics, and more. To explore content and access our various activity types, select a folder or use the menu on the left. If you already have a topic or content type in mind, our search bar and browse functionality will help you locate a resource quickly by either using the drop down menus.
or by a keyword. On the Content tab, you can view and assign resources as well as preview, attempt, and adjust settings for task activities. Teachers can also share content directly to Google Classroom. Hovering your cursor over the eye next to the title of a task provides a quick view of the activity type. Task activities include multiple choice, close activities, audio or video recordings, written responses, simulated conversations, and more. Task activities provide multiple attempts for student improvement and can be auto-graded and manually graded on the learning site. Document assignments are fillable PDFs that can be accessed from the Content tab or the Compass icon in the Flex text. Accessed from a URL or downloaded. They could be completed and submitted digitally or be printed for in-person completion and submission. The Classroom Forum, Unit Forums, and Forum Activities allow for interpersonal communication, sharing learning, adding external content, and extending interaction. Our Classroom Forum, which is easily accessible from the Content tab, could also be a great resource for community building and classroom communication. Some of our textbooks include our vocabulary progression activities, during which learners progress through a series of tasks using different skills in order to help build and refine their knowledge. The Grades tab shows the results of task activity submissions. Use this section to view overall scores, review student task details, and access the grading and feedback window. Built into the gradebook are helpful icons indicating various statuses as well as filters to adjust your view. The Export Grades button provides an export of your gradebook in a detailed CSV file. Select the title of a task to view all student grades and task-specific details. Hover over a student's grade to quickly view their attempt details. Select the Grade button to access student submissions. To go directly to the Grading and Feedback window from the Grades tab, select a student's score. Once you have accessed a student's task submission, you can easily provide feedback using the Learning Site's built-in Grading and Feedback window. Navigate between student submissions by using the drop-down menu, or the left and right arrows. Leave written, audio, or video feedback by selecting the Edit button under Teacher Feedback. Add inline comments to students' written responses with the Highlight tool. A student's total grade and individual question grades can be adjusted as well. If there are multiple attempts, they will be shown in the tabs across the top of the window. Scroll to the bottom of the window to view submission details and to remove a student's attempt if needed. The Assignments tab is where you can assign activities and view assignment details. To assign a single activity or multiple activities at one time, select the Add Assignment button and follow the prompts.
To view student submissions on the Assignments tab, select the Students button on the right side of a listed task. A pop-up window will appear that will show student assignment statuses and additional details. Select View Results to access the Grading and Feedback window. Also on the Assignments tab, you can edit assignments if needed, including archiving and removing assignments. The Students tab is where you will be able to view the Explorer class roster. Use the FlexText tab to access the FlexText, the digital version of your textbook. Teachers have access to both the Student and Teacher editions. Students have access to the Student edition only. The Flex Text can also be accessed from the Flex Text Library on the dashboard. Use the left side menu to navigate your Flex Text. Access a new page or section using the Table of Contents. Search by keyword or phrase in English or the target language. Quickly jump to a specific page using the Jump To feature. Track highlighted areas and be taken to their location in the text. Use your cursor to select text and add a note or highlight. Click on the compass icon to access related task, document, and forum activities, as well as flashcards, audio and video files, and other resources. Linked audio and videos will play directly from the pop-up window without having to navigate away from the FlexText. In the Settings tab, you can adjust properties that affect your entire Explorer class. Decide what content students can view by using the Show Hide settings. Only content marked with a check on the Settings tab will be visible to students. Hidden content will display as gray text for the teacher. Change the maximum number of attempts for all tasks in an Explorer class by adjusting the attempt settings. Individual tasks that have an adjusted number of attempts that is different from the default number will also appear in the Settings tab. If you would like to change the attempt limit on an individual task, first locate the task in the Content tab, and then select the Settings button to customize its maximum number of task attempts. If you ever need additional resources or support, we offer many options. Our help icon, the question mark you see here in the top right of the learning site, offers quick access to our guides, video tutorials, FAQs, support center, contact information, and automated chat. This is also where you will find our feedback button, which goes directly to the learning site team. Here at Wayside, we value your feedback, so feel free to share. I hope this tour of the learning site was helpful. If you have any questions or would like more detailed information, please do not hesitate to reach out. Also, be sure to check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as follow Wayside Publishing on social media.